these two beauties. Remember I unboxed them? I need to figure out what I'm going to do. Put them on a mount or put them in a pot together. So I wanted to see what the roots looked like and then make my decision. Here we go. Let's open them up. And Grecum by Palmer Orchids, Dendrobium agrecum. And yes, Yoshi, I am going to be checking out your site. In fact, I'm going to link it. We have a friend who makes videos named Yoshi. And Yoshi has a channel called Plants and Other Things. And his wife and him and their three children, I believe, are orchid lovers and growers and he has a shop on eBay that he sells his orchids on. So my next purchase, when I get payday, presents on payday, I'm gonna go over to his site. I might just do the buy it now thing. That's my, that's my groove. So let's see. Yoshi, I'll link your channel to your YouTube channel and I'll also link your eBay store for those of you that want to check it out because you know these are little I got them from a big vendor but if I can support my friends that are further up north for me I'll be glad to do that just pull in the um, little bit of rocky bark that's on here off look at um, those new roots growing though you see those bright ones there those are new roots and these are healthy, nice and healthy. So I'm going to give them a swish in the water and then decide what to do, what to do. And Grecum number two, these are so little and cute, these little pots. Here's just the basic, my hands it's hard to not get the bulbs all dirty. Here's the basics of how she's looking. Now I'll swish them in the water and get a clearer view for you guys. Now that they've been watered. These will produce a beautiful golden yellow, sort of orangish flower. And when I feel the roots, when I squeeze them, they're not squishy and they're not flat. They're actually really healthy. I got a few dead ones in the middle, the ones that I'm holding in the middle. <laughs> Those are dead. Those ones. So I'll pop them right off. Don't think I need the scissors for those. They're so small and light that they do just pop right off. <laughs> Look at this. This is the baby. It must have been grown as a seedling on. These are the first little tiny pseudo bulbs that she created. <laughs> Aren't those beautiful little things? Well, she did, she did. But overall, she's looking really good. Thank you for spending time with me today. I appreciate it. I appreciate your time watching my videos. If you like what you are watching, give it that button that has a little thumbs up. Give it a click. I came to a decision. Not an easy one because I wanted to not have to mount anything else and have to water it as a required daily thing. Because with chronic illness, sometimes I'm, I'm a little slow on getting to that. But I did not have a container that was shallow enough. I had lots that were uh, wide enough, but not shallow enough. So the decision has been made for me that those two will go on this mount. I will wrap it with fishing line and put some moss around it and show you the finished product. And we have it mounted. We put the one on the lower level and the one on the top lots of fresh moss over them and then just the fishing line on and around it and with that I have used up all of my fresh moss from the trees in my own backyard so it's time to grow more moss 
<laughs> that won't happen till the fall and the winter. But until then, I will keep making videos. I'll give you updates on how she is coming along. And I wish you blessings and peace. And may you have a fun filled day with flowers and blooms and coffee. Lots of coffee. Until we talk again, bye-bye.